That was kind of funky. Hello, world. Patricia O'Connor, Frida Rivadorf. She is out and about, That, which is to say she's here. She's just still hanging out on the couch while I'm over here doing that thing I always do, trying to bring you guys quality videos about bonsai trees or or less than quality videos about bonsai trees. Uh, but this is us on another beautiful day in Alameda. Uh, my last, we'll say several videos have been having slight technical issues. They've also affected the end that weren't affected. Like for instance, my ability to talk doesn't seem to be hampered by the technical issues, except that they are distracting. So yeah, uh, in the chew gum, walk and chew gum department, I would notice that I would be having these issues and that would affect my ability to talk also because I'd be sidetracked. But what we're doing right now is we're noticing the balcony and we're noticing that the colors might be a little different. I've been doing uh, things to try to fix the issue. What we, just let me tell you what we've been talking about. Our last video, several people mentioned that the video would freeze. Uh, we would go a minute in and then it would freeze on something that I was talking about. And I would just continue to talk while it would sit there and be frozen. And then it would jump ahead to where I would be currently, or it would lag behind the dialogue from then in. I was watching all of those. And like I said, not just the last one or two, but the last several. So to that end, I went through, made sure that we were not having data issues that we weren't maxed out anywhere then i suspected maybe that we were having uh that we were having internet issues according to my tests that i'm running my speed tests we should be doing better than what i'm seeing so that just left a couple of things usb cables for which i am uh dependent so i did two videos yesterday one of them was unshowable one of them was bad the other one was worse the one that was bad, we dropped. It had a lot of freezes in it. So what I've done, so we didn't drop that one. Uh, we didn't drop the first one that was worse. We changed our USB cables out to see if that helped. And at first I went longer on that video without a problem than the other one. That was just a coincidence. It uh, did not help the situation. So we can scratch that off as a potential problem. Uh, like I said, the speed test that I was doing uh, seemingly that would have been our guy, but no, according to the speed test, it wasn't that either. So uh, that only left a couple of things. One, uh, I shoot through uh, something called an app. Uh, for those that aren't kids, app means application. Um, you might pull up an app, which is your phone on your camera. Your camera, which is on your phone, just said that backwards. In this case, the camera would be an app. Uh, having pulled up the camera, I also have filters that I could, little buttons I can push to cause it to look brighter, to close the iris down, open it up optically. I know this is getting awful technical, but there's another app. It's called Black Magic. It's owned by a company called Black Magic. They make high end cinema, cinema graphic quality video cameras. And the app for their cameras, their settings, is very dreamlike, very, very beautiful settings. And as a way of publicizing their, mm, their ability to do neat stuff to the world, they offered it for free to the whole world. If you've got a video camera, or you've got a phone, if you've got an Apple, or if you've got, you know, comparable smartphone, you can download the Blackmagic app and then everything you shoot will look like. It was, um, it was shot by, um, of course, Swayze himself. So uh, that was a possible, that was a possible. So this time we are shooting in something that's a little bit more raw, a little less fancy. I will be able to work some magic on it after the show to maybe dress it up a little, up or down. It may take me longer to upload. And, um, but it looks to be that I have singled out the issue that we were having with our freezing as it were four minutes, 41 seconds in, and we have not had any of the issues that we were looking at before Frida. No freezes, no lagging, none of that. Everything seems to be, everything seems to be a go. Speaking of go, this is what we did last night. Uh, 
we did. This is one of Elizabeth Crutendon's little pots. And this is a good looking little pine tree and a crappy looking wiring job. You see all that space in there? That's bad. The wiring was heavier than my ability to push those with my thumb, push that in tighter against the trunk. What I would have done to make that tighter was gotten up off the couch, stopped shooting, gotten up off the couch, grabbed my pliers and pulled that over that way next to the trunk and then pulled that over that way next to the trunk and then pull that. Instead, what I did was with my hand, try to wrap that around. And you only get away with that when your wire is light and pliable and you're super strong. Uh, that was a little heavy wire to be trying that with and I didn't get away with it. It got tight, but the butt, 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 as bad as that sounds, it's not a, it's not a lot. The bend that I wanted to put in this tree is there and is looking uh, on point, dare I say, on point. That looks pretty good, I think. I know that looks blurry there. But it comes out of the ground, it makes good directions, it goes all over that way, and then it whips back up and does a little, and does a little turn back with the head. I think that came out nice. Also did a little clean up on it. Also, while we're here looking, here is a little look at Simply, Simply P. And, uh, we can see a lot of bright green needles where it's been happy and flourishing. But then look at these small needles, like, like that guy. And you can see a lot of yellow in here. That's not all growth. That's, those are young needles that aren't even, aren't even fully ex extended yet. And they are not a good color. That is our heat spell. That's our heat spell that we went through. Some of those needles would be brown and dead on the top half, and as they, but they would continue to grow out, and the second half would be alive because that would be the part that didn't, that hadn't grown out yet, or maybe not even it was was pre-birth when the heat spell came. So having not been manufactured by the tree yet, it doesn't show that heat burn, while the other half of the same needle does. Uh, pulling those out as I see them. Also, it kind of helps me to keep an eye on the tree. If I eliminate most of the yellow needles and the brown needles, and I come out tomorrow and they're still there, it means it made more while I was asleep or while I was not looking. So that, that's kind of how you can can keep up with whether things are going right or wrong. Otherwise, I think this tree, I think this tree is doing, it's doing some awful good things. Bringing it off the ledge, took it out of that bright, bright, bright heat, and also the wind at the same time. Otherwise, it was liking that direct sunlight, uh, having to reach through, put the tree back in the shot. Having to reach through other trees to water it meant that I was always having to rebuild this and bringing this closer makes that easier for me. I've got another project I want to do here in a minute. I want to bring my Ponderosa in closer. I want to take, and this needs to happen fairly quickly, I need to take that branch up there so this guy is not pointed down but is up in the light, getting light. I could either do that with a uh, guy wire. I'll probably do that with a guy wire. Uh, I won't do it on camera because I won't be able to hold it with one hand and do it on camera, but I'm gonna run a guy wire from uh, pretty close to where my hand is now to, to up here and pull that up. Uh, later at some point, we'll start cutting that back but it's not time to cut that back. I should not have that head of that uh, apex shoved completely down like its heads are between its knees. That's just gonna totally, totally sock it for energy and stuff. Um, that'll happen, but it doesn't need to happen right now. Otherwise, I'm pretty excited. I'm a few weeks away from being able to remove some of that green tape in there and uncover uh, some of those um, some of those cuttings that, that are on their Japanese black pine 
um, silence that are on there. Pretty exciting stuff. That, that black label says backwards because it's stamped on the other side. It's a number of telling us what donor contributed those graphs. Those black, those green pieces of tape have graphs underneath them. Is what I was trying to say earlier. And that tells us that tells uh, that tells our bonsai master who did our grafting of our tree what uh, which black pines he used to do that in case we do it again. So that's that 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 I would say at uh, almost 11 minutes before we call this puppy. Uh, this has been a very very nice test. At least if you're watching this. Um, you'll be able to see what's going on without everything freezing up. I uh, am looking forward to uncovering this guy and seeing if we ever got any root action out of that. I don't know yet. I'll probably have to uncover it all in mass uh, if it works. This time, uh, great. If it doesn't make any roots this time, I'll scrape it again. I'll repack it in the same, I'll scrape it in the same places that we scraped it back last time. I will repack it in the same places that we repacked it last time and we'll just put that back up. We will not fail on this air layer. Bottom line, we will not fail on this air layer. Where I started is where I want it. Going uh, a couple of inches above that or below that to try to start again does not suit me. And from what I've been understanding, you haven't failed on an air layer until the tree dies or until you give up or until you harvest it and then and then the only way you can fail is if you harvested it too early, maybe, and it doesn't take or it doesn't survive being harvested. So, yeah, we're a little ways away. I'll check this. Maybe this will be one of our Saturday night uh, live bonsais because I don't want to just take that, that black plastic off. I want to unwrap it and see what's going on down in there. Uh, that's what's going on there. That's what's going on here. I gave you guys a better look. That gave you guys a better look at the tree we made last night. That little guy's joining the Bondi Vortex. This is also a new and uh, groovy, better look at our uh, coastal oak. You can see all that stuff down there coming out of the base of the trunk. I just got rid of that a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, Max. God, look at that little Japanese black pine. It looks so green. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. This was just a little ditty. It was it was part camera test and part showing you what we've been doing. I'm pretty happy with what we've been doing. I'm also pretty happy with the camera test. I'm going to uh, start shooting in this mode at least until I figure out what's up with my little um, with my this old Beta Mills uh, app with my little cinematography app. If I can't figure out what's going on with that, we'll go without it. Uh, it kind of defeats the purpose. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Our next drop will be probably bleep, 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 Saturday. We're going to do a Saturday drop and then maybe we'll do Saturday Night Live Bonsai. I didn't do one last week because I knew I was having technical issues and I didn't want to um, drag those into a live show. So I appreciate you. Frida appreciates you. And um, golly. We just did this a couple of weeks ago. Thank you all so much for watching. Dang, look at that little pot. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, some of our stuff comes out pretty good, y'all.